Hey everybody and welcome back to another jailbreak video from me, How To Tech Studio here. And I'm going to be showing you the top 50 free Cydia tweaks that you can get on your Aya device. And this is part two. So if you haven't seen part one already, that's not a problem. The link will be in the description. Watch it after this video because there's another 50 free tweaks that you must have. And I'm going to go through a second 50 right now. And of course you need a jailbreak for this. If you haven't already jailbroken it, then there is a link in the description or on the card in front of you on how to do that all the way up to the latest iOS 13.5. So let's go get started. Frame is a video wallpaper tweak that you can see on my background. I've got this flame going through here and it adds videos here. You can either customize your own or in the settings, you can then choose certain ones that have been already chosen for you on a lock screen or a home screen. Cuboid allows you to hold down on the right side of your screen and you can choose your custom for your icon layouts. So if you want to, you can change where your icons sit, horizontal or vertically. You can also give them less and more padding going horizontally and vertically as well. And you can also change how many columns or rows you want and you can also save and restore preferences so you can share, share them about to your liking. As you can see at the moment all of my apps have been rotated so Rotatey randomizes the rotation of your apps and adds this weird fun look. Tap me you add sounds as soon as you open apps up it adds, sound, adds sounds to your device. Annie Launch adds a cool animation to opening up apps. As you can see, mine bounces. I'll show you that again. It bounces there. And of course, within settings, you can change certain differences to your Annie launch. And you can choose from preset animations such as docked, bounce, bouncings, flips, whirls, shrinks, and so on. Bounce it adds a cool bounce animation to your folders to swap in into multitasking adds this weird bounce that looks really nice, really cool, and looks sleek. No Animations X speeds up your animations, so when you're swiping, there are no, there's no animations whatsoever. It speeds it up, makes your device very, very quick. It will also get rid of Bounce It and Annie Launch that we discussed previously. Central centralizes the last row of your home screen layout to make sure that it is in the middle. Here I've got three, and I've got two and it centralizes them into the middle. If I was to get rid of this one and move it over here, it would centralize and be in the middle. Cool folder adds a nice clean white background, uh, white, white outline to your folders, as well as a clear background, making it clean and nice. Manila uses a 3D touch to open up the first four of that folder for a quick access. No 3D lines gets rid of the lines in the 3D touch option menu. 3D badge clear allows you to 3D touch on an app and then you can clear the badge to get rid of the badge. Cache clearer X also adds this cache clearing visualizer here so you can clear the cache of any app. That also means that it uh, clears the searches, it speeds it up a bit and is a really cool tweak. Now playing icon changes the icon of your music app, whether it's Spotify, Apple Music, or etc. So if you start to play something, change the icon app to the album cover of what you're playing. Awesome page dots add some nice animations to the page dots at the bottom of the screen just here so that it swipes along. And of course, there are some customizable versions within settings. Naval adds a gradient color scheme and customization for your dock. At the moment, I've got a white outline with a blue to slightly gray gradient. You can also, of course, change these in settings. Vesta has a swipe up animation from the dock and allows you to access all of your apps, including recents, in one simple place. Label Changer does exactly what it says, allows you to change the name of any labels for the icons you wish. And you can also customize certain things such as the sizing, border colors, and background colors of those labels. Compactor adds a really nice clean font to everywhere on your device. So as you can see here, all of my settings are a nice clear layout. 
If I was to go onto Twitter, it is all very similar as well so that you can see this clear and clean layout on your device. Menu support adds some icons as soon as you tap and you want to paste, copy or select as well as bold and underlined as these nice icons, getting rid of the clunky ones, making it nice and clean. Peep allows you to either hide or show the status bar just by tapping on the right hand side of the screen. Carrierizer changes the carrier setting to whatever you want. I've set it to HTTS How To Text Studio here and you can customize that to whichever text you want. Rounded modules also adds these modules to the CC area of your device to these rounded symbols for a nice clean look. Live Safari turns the compass of the Safari app into a real Safari. So if you look at the Safari on the bottom of my screen, it will change it to always point either north or south to wherever you wish. Within Safari, Safari features adds the iPad style Safari to your iDevice so you can clearly see there are tabs at the top allowing you to access them a lot quicker. Switch Confirm automatically asks you if you want to swap to the app before doing so. If you click Cancel, it will then go to the video, whatever it may be, without going to the default app. AV Lock adds the orientation lock button to the bottom left hand side of the screen so that you can change it if you want to lock it, turn the device the other way, it will not change, but then if you unlock, it will do the same. That will automatically lock back again if you then exit that video. Into Cydia now, and if you, you swipe for more, you can swipe on a tweak and you have a choice to add to a queue or reinstall or re-download certain tweaks. Add them all to queues and then you can add them all later on. Really useful. Fluid tabs allows you to swipe across the tabs at the bottom of an app so that you can change between the tabs. This is working in Cydia, but it also works in other apps as well, as long as they have a tabs bar at the bottom. Batchomatic allows you to back up your tweaks using a .deb file. If you need a tutorial on this, I have one in the screen on the screen in front of you and in the description below. And that is how you back up and reinstall tweaks so you never lose your progress. Settings widgets add these two widgets at the top here so you can see I've got my battery and storage but also within settings you can change whichever widgets you would like to be at the top of that screen and there's a few that you can choose from health, storage, Wi-Fi and more. Blur switch allows you to change and customise the on off toggles within settings or whichever apps you're using and you can colourise them here I've got a green and a red one for on and off. Lights Out uses the light sensor to differentiate between light and dark mode. Uh, currently I'm on the keypad of the phone app. If I hold my thumb over the top, it changes to dark mode. If I release it, it then changes it back to light mode. Really nice and easy tweak to use. Axon allows you to categorize the notifications on your lock screen into categories as you can see here. So what it does is it allows all of them to be categorized and when you tap on them, it opens them up and shows you what they show. Exact time, as you can see at the top there, it doesn't say 35 minutes ago, it shows you the exact time that notifications were received. That also works for everywhere in the screen, not just on the lock screen. No DND banner gets rid of the annoying banner at the top that tells you that you have your do not disturb on and it makes for a nice cleaner look. Counted at the bottom there says you can add a countdown to something and I've got mine to replace the swipe up to open. As you can see there, my birthday is in 259 days. Blank Pass adds this nice clean look to the home screen to unlock it without using any of the number system. Auto Unlock X gets rid of the no swipe up as soon as the face is recognized. It opens up the app as soon as it is recognized. I've got it disabled at the moment, but it, what it does is it opens it up because I have notifications it has been disabled. However, if you go into your settings, you can also change this to your preference. Sleepy time adds exact times until the alarm will go off. 10.30 tomorrow morning is in 17 hours and five minutes. This is really useful. Sakao also uses the sleepy time mode in order to add it to your lock screen so you can have it on your device. Easy edit alarms changes the way that you edit them. All you need to do is just tap on them to edit them instead of previously having to go to edit and then tap on them. So all you need to do is tap an alarm to edit.
Send delay allows you to cancel messages before you send them. If you press it, you can then press on the red to cancel that message. Really useful. And you can also customize how long that send delay lasts. Roman pad adds the Roman numerals to your phone pad for a really nice clean look. Photo info adds the exact pixelation size and the megabytes or gigabyte size for photos and videos within the camera roll. Deny photo albums allows you to get rid of all of the default photo albums that come with the phone. Hidden album lock allows you to lock the hidden album using the face recognition on your device. And if it doesn't happen, then you can click cancel and the hidden album can no longer, no longer be seen. A few extras to notice, touch flow allows your finger to be seen when you're recording videos on your screen. Mitsuha Forever adds the music sound wave to the lock screen or the music app or the widgets on your device, which may add for a really nice clean look. Snowboard allows you to select and change themes within your device so that you can chop and change the way that your device looks. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Hit that big subscribe button and like this video. And if you haven't already, please make sure you watch part one of the top 50 free Cydia tweaks. And I really hope you've enjoyed. I will see you all very, very soon. Don't forget, hit that big subscribe button to show your support. See you later.